I was 16 years old and just felt so overwhelmed and ran out of the house and just sat at the beach, sat at the beach in the ocean until I calmed down. And a friend came to join me and I didn't even notice he was there for a few minutes because it was just like there were too many people, there was too much happening, but I knew I'd feel better if I went out and just watched and just sat. And that's what I mean by the calming. It's rhythmic. It's more than us. It connects us and we connect to it in different ways. Yeah. And yeah. So I like it. <laughs> but on a sort of a psychological level, I guess probably also at a physical, well, it all connects, doesn't it? At some point in my life, I became disconnected from it, I think, from the wana. And I never really, um, I think because you just grow up and you move, you just get busy doing things and you go to uni and you think you're clever. So for me, especially being with Sustainable Seas, it's for coming back to the moana. But I don't know that I would have thought in terms of what motivates you to work for better moana management. I don't know if I would have separated out better moana management from better environmental management. I have previously said I focus on freshwater, but I've been doing a lot of marine stuff, but they're not disconnected. So I think we have a tendency to sort of compartmentalise. But I don't know that I actually ever really thought of anything in isolation. 